show's idiot brought on three different bands. And not to spoil anything, but one of them is a corgi collecting royalty. We consider making our guests knit the entire show, and we just can't figure out why everyone's so abuzz about this newest health craze. And you get a band! And you get a band! Robot lady, sound the alarm! Warning. The following podcast is another wasted hour. Warning. The following podcast is another wasted hour. Don't waste my motherfucking time! I am so glad that I showered this morning because there are too many people in the studio. <laughs> Usually we have one band. Once we had two bands because I booked them wrong. And it was actually, I think it was Stone Driver and Irresponsible. And they both showed up and then they did the show together. They were super awesome. And then this time somebody wrote me and said, hey, I've got an idea I know that you have a crazy show where you have one band on at a time and then you messed it up once and had two bands on. How about three fucking bands? <laughs> and you're the fucking idiot of this show. And so you said yes. No. And they were like, no, seriously, you should do it. And I was like, no. And they were like, come on, please. And I'm like, oh, okay. And so now we're here with three bands and two ignorant, uninformed, ill advised, self deprecating morons ranting about opinions that they have no right to have, which are probably wrong and absolutely do not matter. Our goal here at Another Wasted Hour is to convince you that where we hail from, just outside Washington, D.C., is not just a city of politics and scandals but with one brimming with art, music, and culture, and many, many bands in one basement. As impossible <laughs> as that may seem. So listeners, now that you know why you're here in studio, we have the brand new Slipknot! No, okay, no, that's, I'm kidding! That's not... I get the trash can. <laughs> we, yeah, we established, yeah. No, yeah. we have uh, we have a record setting three bands at once. Let's go around the room. So we'll start off with Fellow Craft. Jr. Say hello. Hello, Fellow Craft. Uh, one of your bandmates had made it onto the show before with DC Music Rocks, uh, but now we get to find out about the band tonight, which is fantastic. We have Elizabeth the second. Hello there. Who I'd heard amazing things about around the scene, but have never been able to convince you to come over to an old man's basement <laughs> alone. So you had to bring friends, which was smart. It was really smart. Just saying. Pro, pro move. Good friends. Yeah. Pro, yeah. Pro Hopefully you, you left your, your uh, phone number with somebody else and they're tracking Dropped your phone. Dropped my location. Yeah. <laughs> just, just for the sake of safety. It's a good idea. And Kat Janice, who just uh, throws... Uh, danger into the wind does not care, and this is her second time here. What's up? Yeah, welcome <laughs> no back. Shit's given. <laughs> so, uh, welcome all. We've never done this before, so it will probably go very badly, but in a hilarious way. That's what I'm hoping. So, uh, we let's wrap back around. Uh, I said before we had Brian Palmer, right? Nelson Palmer is that yep. the full name? BNP. I like to call him BNP. BNP B yeah. yeah. Music yeah. Factory. Yeah, BNP. It, it's just. <laughs> It's it's the easiest way to refer to him. Yeah. He has too many names for a white guy. That, you know? that is true. <laughs> but it's it, it, it's it's a fact. Yeah, Brian Brian was over for DC Music Rocks last year when we played the nine thirty club, and he yep. was promoting the show exactly. And uh, he had gotten that opportunity for us because he would, had run this awesome radio hustle for a couple of years. Yeah, and uh, he's since retired. Almost pretty much. He, no! he, yeah, he's out of the band. He he left the band in January. Plays last show in March. Is he still doing DC music? Rock? He is, but he's working with the musicianship now. Oh, okay. So yeah, there, yeah, yeah. he's basically just in. It's in kind of like a cryogenic stasis, if okay. you will. Yeah, yeah. It's still active and running. Sure. The back end is running. Yeah. But he's not doing shows and and spending forty hours a week on it like a second job. Right. Which is he would do everything a thousand percent. Oh so, yeah. 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 Um. Well, and the reason we brought you guys together. So you have a band called. Fellow craft. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a track called Hold the Line from the album three. Now, as people listen to the show, they'll know usually what we do is we take a full length of our track and put it at the end of the show. We're not doing that this show for everyone because we've got three different bands. Um, so we're going to do it for Elizabeth the second here who's coming up next. Uh, but we do have a track, a sample of your uh, track called Hold the Line, and that's from your album three that came out last year. Is that right? You came in September 2018. Yeah. And so um, if people want to hear the whole track, or want to download the entire album and buy it and support you guys, uh, they can go up to fellowcraftband.com. We right? also give them to hobos. You can so buy just go them to from a hobo. Them. Yeah. Just go to Find any, any homeless person in DC and uh, say Pablo Semi. <laughs> Hook me up you will that. get the record and maybe cocaine. <laughs> Hook oh, me God. up with that fellow craft disc you got. Just cocaine? I mean, it, 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 it's what probably else? not Coke. Yeah. It's probably baking soda. You're like, uh, excuse me, do you have a fellow craft uh, album? And he's like, do you mean a yeah. pillow? <laughs> yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah. 
<laughs> I use this as a coaster because I don't want to get my drink on the sidewalk. Yeah. <laughs> and so the reason we have three people is you are all doing a show together. Right. And that's yes. going to be happening uh, at Union Stage Friday, August 30th, down in Washington, D.C. It's right on the wharf. Right. Mm -hmm. That that, that new area um, starts at 8 p.m. My understanding is everyone plays at yep. 8 p.m. All bands play at the same time. We all yes. play. Yep. We're so, going to be in different corners of the yep. room. Yeah. yeah. So you'll be playing at, at 8 p.m. And then uh, Elizabeth II also playing at 11 or at, at, at 8, 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. So um, welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, for you, uh, you have a, a brand new single that just came out brand new also brand new ep as well yeah. oh just everything lots, everything everything just, just dropped everything just dropped uh -huh. this is it's like puberty right so, um, <laughs> <laughs> i just showed up yeah. <laughs> so this is excellent uh, it's called wedding demon we're gonna have a uh uh like a sample of that a little later on but if you want to fast forward to the one hour mark of the show you can listen to the entire track um go up to um facebook.com slash elizabeth the second music and the way you do that is elizabeth then the I, I, like, you know, we're doing something in Roman times, then music. Uh, funny story is if you Roman don't put time. music at the end, when, what ends up happening? You get the Queen of England. <laughs> so, yeah. Woohoo! Pictures of old ladies, She's... which I promise you, I don't look like an old lady. So no, it's not, not me. I have blue hair. Yeah, you, yeah. you're I'm blue say, hair. You do have the blue hair. You're just missing the red hat and a exactly. Florida bumper plate. Oh, that's exactly. Awesome. It's like you a... should take that on. I'll be right? damned if you it's, shouldn't yeah. get some corgis, yeah. though. I'll just dress like I'm <laughs> going stage, to the Kentucky corgis Derby. Corgis on stage. Corgis and red hats. Woo, girl. That's the next record. You want a throne, too. What I love about her show is in between song she knits oh <laughs> it's <just> awesome <laughs> kills it oh dear god <laughs> we actually reported it's a bit much for the british they 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 find it to be invinegrating <laughs> i also sell them after the yeah, show at merch. the merch table do you want like a knit hat do you want one of my scarves, scarves right? i knit yeah. on stage i uh we actually did an article hipster band of all time i think we did an article <laughs> last year where in like finland i think it was they did the first ever air knitting contests so they basically they played music, uh, metal music, and then you knit to it <laughs> live on stage. And I was like, that's amazing. I don't know how you put those things together, but I'm there. <laughs> I heard about that. Yeah. Didn't, I heard about that. Yeah, it's that's amazing. That's wild. That's it's, so sick. It's so, uh, uh, so that's what uh, Elizabeth II will be doing live on stage at the Union Stage in Washington, D.C. on Friday, August 3rd, uh, 30th at 8 p.m., while other people are playing, you'll be knitting to the music. I'll be knitting to the music. <laughs> I'll do it at tempo in right. weird time signatures. Yeah, absolutely. It's right. going to be the best Hey, girl, thing. I'll hold your yarn. Yeah. Yeah. I got you. Pat will hold my yarn. I'll, I'll, I'll hold that yarn for you. You'll be like, I'm subdividing this bitch. <laughs> right. Here's Watch. the green. Here's the blue. <laughs> Watch out, DC. We're changing oh colors. This road's going to be different. Right. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. It's rainbow. <laughs> Uh, so awesome. So we're going to hear a little of your music a little later on. And if people do want to grab that entire EP, listen to the new single, they can go uh, up to facebook.com slash Elizabeth, the second music. And uh, last but not least, a return engagement from Kat Janice. Oh, boy. Welcome back. <laughs> Woo. I'm glad that we didn't scare you off. You didn't no, go. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you've had you've had quite a year. Uh, you've yeah. uh, you've got a new track uh, that just dropped, uh, cr uh, Crypto Kids, yep. right? Crypto and, Kids. Uh, you were saying it's difficult to advertise that, right? It is difficult because it has the word crypto in it. And so none of the platforms, Spotify, uh, Google, Facebook, Instagram, they won't take it because it has crypto in it. So I have to like fight them. <laughs> I've legit had like email like strains like long, 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 long just going off. No, it's actually not crypto. Right. Go find an actual person, not just a bot answers my email. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> You're like, you cannot mine this music. Right, exactly. No one's it's making fine. money off of this. Right, yeah. <laughs> I'm just spending it. <laughs> I, I wish I could make money off this right. music. It's not working. <laughs> it's kind of like crypto that way. Then. Right, I know. I actually, I released it very strategically. I was going to release it earlier in the year, but crypto is just so bad. And so I waited. I gave it a couple more months till it started going up. And I was like, okay, now we can get now. on this vibe a little bit more. So <laughs> now, I had to think about that one. So that people don't have a bad taste in their mouth right. when they listen to it. Or you can listen to it getting rich like the crypto kids. Like, you know, it's kind of ironic. You know? yeah, like, no, oh, we're like... going out to party and have fun. Well, well guess what? It's not that great. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> we don't have any money for fun. Right. <laughs> Who needs fun? And you also uh, 
were uh, in the whammies this last year, right? Yeah, I, don't think you had... I was nominated for a couple of things. Mm-hmm. And I don't think you had done, um, uh, we had done that yet when you first uh, first came by. Yeah, I come and in so, right before that. Yeah, so um, congratulations. Yeah, thank you, that was so You're much fun. big deal now. Oh, stop it. Yes. You and, star. <laughs> and fellow craft, you guys, uh, JR, you got uh, nominated for some stuff we as did. well. We yeah, did. Yeah, you guys won we got the nomina- best rock song. We did. We did. We, we were nominated for a few and... We won best rock song for Hold the Line, the song we're going to play, which I think we did really just because Brandon is, you know, he on a lot of the other rock songs, there's not a lot of prominent bass. You know, yeah, so you're sure. like when you open the song up and there's a bassist just thumping around, everybody's first thought was like, oh, wow, that's a cool octave pedal. And I'm like, no, that's a bassist. <laughs> yeah. There's often members of bands, right. octave pedal. occasionally members of bands. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, but yeah, no, it was a real blessing and very, very humbling, I think, as well. Well, and Elizabeth II is going to be taking those uh, nominations yeah. I mean, from me this year. Say, they this don't even call them the whammies next oh, year. They're just, this bitch they're just, is going to kill us all. They're just like, the throne geez. awards. She just yeah. shows up. They're just called the deuces. Th- we'll right. throw our pearls at her feet. <laughs> the wa- She'll paint all our hair different colors we'll and give us scarves. We'll put a big old blue carpet down just because yeah. we all no. know who's going to win. No, I'll bring the corgis. Blue. There you go. Yeah. Instead of a red carpet, it's it's just a scarf that she knitted. She's sitting up on stage like, I believe some of you came here to give me awards. Yes. <laughs> How good for one of you. Yeah. For those for those of you that have come to sacrifice a goat, the line begins here. Right. <laughs> Well, excellent. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, it's going to be a crazy rest of the hour, I'm quite certain. Um, but uh, but we're going to juggle this. We're going to make this work. But there's, I, I would argue there is arguably already far too much personality in this room <laughs> for one show. So we'll... We'll have to have I, everybody back. I, I, I peter out. I'm I'm almost forty. I'll die. I'll, I'll I'm dying soon. So <laughs> you're dying soon. Will you do it on the show? Because that'd be great. No, ratings. no. I mean, I, I look. I'm all for selfless promotion. But even if I told my friends I was going to die at the end of the show, yeah. I'm convinced some of them probably would skip it. That would make the news. You'd go viral. Right. Yeah. You <laughs> maybe, maybe, go viral. Maybe DC especially, viral. Maybe especially DC if viral. that's what he died from. Oosh. Viruses. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, so let's move on, everyone. We're, now that we found out what you do with your, with your musical lives and all the successes that you guys have had, uh, let's try something a little different. We're going to put you in the shoes of the editor in chief of a brand new publication. Woo. Okay, we're going to, as your loyal uh, reporters, we're going to pitch you some news ideas. You let us know if they make it in or whether or not they are news. This is what we like to call the weather report. All right, so Adam, get us started off. Men don't recycle to avoid looking gay, new study finds. What are they recycling? Like dicks? <laughs> like, what what are do, you putting in the bin? Adam, I will do anything in my power to look gay. <laughs> that is honest to God. That could not possibly be a fact. Oh it attracts God. more women. It does. Yeah, yeah. It does. It does. It does. It Who doesn't want a gay best friend? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Jesus Christ, man. I'm like, I... I, I'll do it. Tell you, let me tight pants done. Yeah. Well, you know? The key word is looking, right? Like, it's not like well, if you're if looking you gay, was, you're doing something good. You, you right. pulled it off. If you right. look gay, a little bit, you recycle. Yeah. You dress yeah. well. Oh my god, hell yeah! You're yeah. Doing anything, really you're well. just raking in the ladies, right? Like, yeah. mm-hmm. And then your best friend and raking. tell them their hair looks beautiful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and none of them want to bang you. Right. <laughs> there's a line of ladies no, just like, I, hey, hey. Who wants to go shopping? I, I, I mean, that's probably a laundry. There's probably some ladies out there that are like, you know, I could, I could break them. I could do it. Yo, <laughs> you think it's a challenge? I, I don't feel, know. I feel like that's not the reason, though, because right. I feel like it's, it's like, just laziness. <laughs> like, that's, that yeah. would just be the main yeah, reason. Yeah, you're like, I'm just lazy. You know what? Like, I'm just so, lazy. Yeah, we're together, but we don't fuck. It, it's, <laughs> and honestly, things so, are just better that way. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty good. <laughs> so basically, they, they made a study where they basically, they asked people many different actions, whether they associated that with more... Um, masculine or feminine activities and they try to keep them all positive but all the things related to like home maintenance recycling things like that people associate with more as positive feminine attributes than positive masculine attributes and from this they have gathered yeah yeah, men are terrible like they (laughs) why does everything have to be dualistic they're like, oh, you took the trash out. What a, what a gay. You know, yeah. like, it's, it's like, just took the trash out. <laughs> like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking read a book, smoke a joint. Let's do something positive with your time. There are, there's a rainbow. It's ironic that the, the, 
the gay the pride flag it is a rainbow because there's a rainbow of things that you can do with your life. But if you're a fucking middle-aged straight white guy, apparently there's only two and it's no. what right, I hate it's and everyone else I hate. See, I disagree. I disagree. I think that huh. it has nothing to do with actually being concerned that they're gay or looking like a girl. They just don't want to do anything and they'll use any excuse. But they're like, oh, yeah, I would, I, I take the trash up and the um, knee is just... The knee's gay. <laughs> right, exactly. you know, just, they don't know what to say. So they're just like, uh, is it gay? Uh, yeah, then I can't do it. Yeah, I can't do it. They're I'm just like, lazy. Yeah. Yeah. Also, it's just like, lazy. Progressive Me? thinking with recycling and just the term progressive thinking is like, <laughs> like get a thesaurus, okay. asshole. <laughs> Right. Like, to look be up fair, other words. I mean, to, to be fair though, if a man says he's going to do something, he will do it, and there's no need to remind him every three weeks. Bullshit. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I still haven't taken the fucking trash out. <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't it been like two Everyone. months? Oh my god! It's, oh, it's starting to smell. <laughs> yeah, it's piling up. It's no longer garbage now. It's antiques. Right, right. Yeah, you can make some money off of it. <laughs> you can sell it for cryptocurrency. JR <laughs> can't make a Facebook ad out of it. No, 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 no not won't at all. take it. They won't take it. I all just. Word uh, of mouth. Yeah, that's out of the publication. I'm not putting that in. That's no, fine. it's not going in. Yeah, no, it's not, say, I, it's not going in. Buried. Dumb no. story. Next. All right. We don't, we don't need that thinking continuing <laughs> in this world right now. Uh, Venezuela issues travel warning to the U.S. in light of recent shootings. I just saw that today on Facebook. That is so actually fucked up. I think, yeah. I, I think they're looking to us for advice. Like, hey, you do this all the time. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, like, actually, like, what, oh how do gosh. you deal? Like, how do you deal oh, with the fact that everyone dies in senselessly from gun violence? Like, what's some of your, you know, what's some of your uh, uh, your objects and ideas? And oh, it, yeah. uh, you know, much like the last story that we kicked out, the answer is the same. It's like middle aged old white guys, and it's like, <laughs> hey, they want to have guns not because they love them because they know that you don't. And that's the only reason. Right. <laughs> because right. it's, it's, it's men, men are girl. weird. Like if, if men carried babies kind of to is. term, you could get an abortion at a vending machine. Right. right? Oh, yeah. So I don't get yeah. me started. <laughs> like, oh, so, I'm not going to that oh, vending so machine. That, so now the liberals record. hate guns. They're like, oh, really? Well, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Just right. for the record, though, that is horrifying, the idea of having an abortion at a vending machine. Because what if it gets stuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, no, I'm telling you. <laughs> Just saying, they got pills that in the market. Happens. They got pills in the market. I'm watching who yeah. up the other night it and stuff. And <laughs> Take that shit out. They got an ad for like straightening your dick out, but we don't like. We still yeah. don't know how to how to keep a woman safe during pregnancy. <laughs> yeah, you right. know we're like, oh, oh, that's a problem. We're. Just some things we're just never going to know. I have a theory. I have a theory on this. It's a secret. It's a secret. (laughs) My theory on this is this is part of the plan all along, right? Because (laughs) how do you stop immigration? It's easy. You make your country worse than the country they're emigrating from. Right. Oh, Wonderful, right? There yeah. you go. Oh. They go, wow, the I don't want to go plan. there <laughs> because right. I would die more there than here. I'm good. Right. Right. You can deny everybody... You know, uh, yeah. asylum yeah. because you can just be like it's, you're not a refugee it's it's so it's bad so bad right. don't, oh my God. don't you come right. here you, you say that Keith but here. Netflix put out an entire series last year about people going to the most dangerous places on earth as fucking tourists yeah, yeah. that's true I watched that too oh my god <laughs> <laughs> so what's America yeah. now like an 18 piece indie folk band with a washboard yeah. <laughs> it's like don't join this band <laughs> yeah no. like, get the fuck out of here like all they have the, a Ouija board on stage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck knitting. We do, like, fortune telling in the middle of the set, you know? We're going to summon ghosts of, like, <laughs> historical figures. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. I think I know one We're or two black metal bands nation. that are about one yeah. show away from doing like, that. They, 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 get, they get Lincoln to come back, and the first word out of his mouth is the N-word. And we're just oh. like, oh, we fucked up. We, oh, the, no. we just did this wrong. <laughs> no. Wrong Lincoln. We got the wrong Lincoln. We got the wrong Lincoln. Lincoln. No. We needed the after Lincoln. I wanted to believe. Before Lincoln. I wanted to believe. We need the zombie slayer Lincoln. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the vampire killing Lincoln or vampire. That's yeah. What it I was. put it in because I think we could help Venezuela by passing sensible gun legislation in their country. Yeah. Well, oh, no, totally. and then we'll move there after you can buy a house. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh my like, God, the real estate is yeah. so cheap. We'll teach, it's yeah. a beautiful location they, right next to like yeah. Colombia and Aruba. Oh, 100%. Yeah. It's you know, kind of a weird like teaching moment for children, it though, is. right? Because you could be yeah. like, "Here's America, here's Venezuela. Yeah. This is a uh, democracy and capitalism, and and then here we have socialism. Here, yeah. uh, the government uh, kills you by rolling over you with tanks. Right? Socialism. Right? Over here, 
the people have the power to kill you. Yeah. Right. Right. Like, yeah. Look at that. Which is ironic. Which oh, is ironic. We're both terrified right. of each yeah, other. it's not good. They're like, None of it's good. They're like, we want to protect ourselves against the government. Mm-hmm. I'm like, you know the government has drones, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> and like actual nukes. They got Area 51 okay. too. Oh yeah, we can Naruto run an Area 51, <laughs> yeah. but Flint still doesn't have fucking water. No. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> no, so I, I can't. agree it goes into our it goes in Yeah, our it goes magazine. in. I'm in. Yeah, I'm putting it in. No, yeah, I can't so wait. Let's fix Venezuela's gun problem. I cannot wait until an uh, like an Abrams rolls up on some guy's plantation and he just starts trying to peck at it with a handgun. Like, <laughs> right? I'm the government, the government can't take my away God. my freedom. <laughs> I saw, I saw the end of Saving Private Ryan. That totally worked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like tick, tick, tick. He's like bang, 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 click, click, click. You played rock, rock, paper, scissors, the gun. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors, tank, asshole. You played that game. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so, all right, so that one's in. Excellent, Adam. Well, nearly a perfect segue. Strip Club Empire pledges to send erotic dancers to Area 51. Yeah. We're so, we're do it. so do putting it. that in do there. It. Oh, and you know yeah. what? We don't even need to talk about this. Yeah, That's just, going just in put, there. It in. put it in. Put it in. The, the only thing better than a fool parting with his money is a fool parting with his money because he thought a girl liked him. Right. Yeah. So just I, right. I fucking strip away support. You know, yeah. I will say this, you know, just if they're going to be down there, you know, like, you know, be safe, you know, find you some, you know. Yeah. You know, don't sit too close to the fence. <laughs> the find some friends. <laughs> the interesting thing here is that it's kind shirt. of ironic because a lot of those guys often refer to women's private parts as Area 51. So, <laughs> wow. Well, I mean, they that is either, so insightful. So. I've is. never so heard that before. Oh, my yeah. God. What? That is definitely a it's, thing. Yeah. It's, That's so funny. Oh, my God. I'm dying right it's, now. Yeah. That is so funny. It's because they're not they, allowed in. <laughs> right. That's, and they're not allowed in. That's amazing. <laughs> right. That the incels of America... I will say that my favorite part of this article is not just that they're going to send about a dozen, quote, erotic dancers down to Area 51 the day before this whole raid. Yeah. But apparently they actually have a mobile strip club called the Stripper Mobile. Oh, my God. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. Let's bring the party. Empowerment. Yeah. I, heard, I heard Travis just, Scott's like, going to go play. Yeah. Like, like, like if anyone who's played a show out in a field where they have like the giant ass trailer that pulls up that right. unfolds into a full yeah. stage. I'm imagining that. Yeah. I just <laughs> imagine that all the people that were going to run at Area 51, like because there are probably a lot of like sad single guys are just going to be like, <laughs> Area 50, what is that? Titties? And then like that's the end of it. Right. right. The whole thing. <laughs> the why is it, maybe it's the government that's sending it to try <laughs> yeah. and do it. Right. Them. Right. It's I, the they must be. They must plot. be. Why is Area 51 sound right now, this whole thing, like the worst thing? music festival ever planned <laughs> you know I mean? fire. Like, it's like, it's like oh fire festival like right. oh we're gonna have like it's gonna be vip super exclusive fucking stripper mobile outside right have, has anyone ever been to roswell hey. like, yeah. it is not pleasant no really <laughs> if you list but, all the things right of what could happen like top of the list of like good things would be like they get in they yeah. find aliens they get to tell the world about it lower down the list right like uh, it doesn't end up happening. Further down the list, we run at it. Everybody gets shot. And then at the bottom of the list is we run in there and we find out that it's a Blink-182 one, concert. <laughs> Blink-182 right, 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 right. And they're like, fuck, oh my what? God. Travis Barker's up there oh. just playing blind drum solos for 20 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> That's all I want to see, honestly. <laughs> Bernie Sanders right now is totally capitalizing on this because he's like, yo, if I become president, I'll tell you about all the aliens the moment that I know about it and all this. And everyone's like, yeah, let's do it. God, he will do so anything funny. for a vote. What's the government's so secrets? Funny. Bur- oh Bernie Bernie God. would sell his soul to the devil like Robert Johnson. Well, the thing <laughs> no, is, it wouldn't do it. anything, right? right? Like if the president of the United States went up on a stage and said, everyone, there are aliens, we have bodies. People right. would be like, liar! I know, <laughs> yeah, Politicians! I know. Show it. <laughs> they exist. No, they don't. Yeah, we are definitely including don't the strippers. Don't bring Stanley I Kubrick looked, into this. I actually <laughs> looked into getting a hotel there and hotels for like, Dozens and dozens of miles around the area are completely booked. There is a hmm. one small I hotel. I looked at this. this. There's the a strippers. one small, uh, the strippers. <laughs> one small hotel that's like near the area where they have a camping ground. And she, this woman, I guess, owns it. There's only like 12 or 15 rooms. Completely booked. She booked out her entire huge field of camping grounds. Right. I would... And she's like purchasing shirts and postcards and all this shit just for the event. It's like a Alien Woodstock. No, oh I would like God. Airbnb my front yard. Are you kidding? Right. Why don't we get two or three buses? <laughs> let's drive up, take all these people who want to go to Area 51, and then we'll like just divert midway to like the southern border. <laughs> <laughs> we'll drop them off and be like, yo, this is Area 51, and it's the freaking, it's like, like the concentration camps. Right. They're like, this we'll be like, and then when they bust the aliens out, 
they're they're actual aliens, right? What and you're I'm like, ah, these are the aliens. Uh, you're, you're here. Right. Thanks for helping. I'm gonna show yeah, up. I'm gonna was... sing. So those damn aliens, the first singing songs that come to their ears are catchy it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like you said, okay, you wanted to see the show. aliens. This is I'm your yeah, friend. Here, here's this is all, Earth music. Here's everyone seeking asylum. You could do something productive, right. yeah. Other than getting your ass blown up, right? Like I was in the Air Force. Wait, wait, they're wait, wait, not wait. gonna make it. Yeah. <laughs> Watching people get blown up would be awesome, just for the That's, record. You know what? No, watching people get Naruto running, getting shot with like <laughs> yeah. drone drone missiles, for what it's worth, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, let's I watch did. it. The bad thing about the with, with Cat's plan is if the aliens then go on to destroy the world, we could chalk it up to Cat's music. <laughs> <laughs> like, they seemed friendly. They hated you, Cat. And then crypto, crypto kids, kids came the, on. Damn the market crash. Yeah, yeah. The market, the market yeah. crash. Her second single blockchain wow. didn't do as good. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Just wow, admit. I see oh how it God. is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so is it going in our magazine or what? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so yeah, going yeah. in there, definitely. definitely going in. <laughs> A woman fends off cougar with Metallica's 1991 song "Don't Tread on Me." That, that is no a fact. Way. It actually happened all the way in. That yeah. is going that shit in. Actually happened. So yeah, confronted while walking her dog, the British Columbian woman blasted the tune from uh, the Black Album, causing the cougar to bolt into the woods, which is actually kind of weird if you think about it, because anytime that Metallica plays anything from the Black Album in concert, the place is full of cougars. Right. <laughs> and, uh, usually they just came from Chili's. Yeah. Right. So, or, or, or Brazil. I'm surprised. Brazil. Uh, Brazil. So I'm surprised the cougar wasn't like, I'm listening. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. That's so good. I think the cougar went Beautiful. to go get his friends and he's like yo James Hetfield is here right. Right. he's here now <laughs> actually while wandering off it was reported that the cougar was heard mumbling bandwagoner <laughs> at least play something yeah. from Fucking, and justice yeah. for all for God's sake. play some fade to black <laughs> yeah <laughs> god damn it yeah definitely <laughs> and anytime Metallica scares off animals I'm in yep. <laughs> yeah. right. and you get the double entendre Done. with the cougar you yeah. Know? yeah yeah it's, it's in and, it's uh, great uh, uh, talking about James Hetfield, he actually called the lady afterwards to talk about the encounter. You know what? He's actually yeah. a really nice guy when he's not being a huge dick. <laughs> well, you know, more <laughs> proof like that... That, yeah. that could be said of most people. Right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not of Lars, though. <laughs> not Lars. <laughs> yeah. Lars doesn't stop. Lars is like, I'm here. I'm an asshole. This is who I am. You know, and Hetfield's yeah. like, you know what? I'm going to stop being a jerk every now and then and, you know... That's true. Leave the world a better place. If anyone to be like a dick, Lars should not be a dick. Right. Like, Your name is you Lars. Beat him up. You know? yeah. Lars. <laughs> yeah. Lars. You're the drummer, dude. Lars. Oh, and he's there, like, he's like, okay. from another world. There's, a, there's, he's like, okay. There's rumors that uh, Lars Ulrich also p called the woman after um, uh, James Hetfield. Yeah. Played. His um, number shows up as telemarketer. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the problem was is, uh, he was just uh, telling her that she needed to pay royalties for the public broadcasting. Of the <laughs> so, uh, that sounds oh so. You know, that's that probably so true. That. Yeah. Wow. No, I, that was beautiful. Oh, yeah. geez. That was beautiful. Well played, yeah, Thank that you. Was really that was great. great. All right, so okay. that's in. We're in. We're in. Yeah, All yeah, right, sir. excellent. Sir. Adam. All right, we're going into our lightning round. Woo! We're just gonna oh, throw. Man. We're just gonna throw headlines at you. We didn't read these nearly as carefully as we did the others. This is not gonna work. <laughs> Florida man pulls gun on late arriving furniture delivery crew, uh, delivery crew. And let me just say, I can agree with this. Yeah. Florida man. That's all I need to hear. It's going. Because How many yeah, times have you been in. told that, the, that they would be there between nine and 10 and at one you you're right. still there. You're wait, I, you're late for work. I'd pull a gun too. I, 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 oh my I, God. I, I get it at all. But I see, this is the thing. Like why is being late with furniture a death sentence? That's the problem right. with guns. But the, but, <laughs> well, but the fact that it it's Ikea? so wild is why we should put it in there. Yeah. Cause you I mean, know it's so it's bizarre. Florida, it's you know? Florida. We did, we did, we did put, put in the Venezuelans. Right. So at this point, I think we're going in like we a kind of. We might as well put in the Florida. Yeah. We're going in like a guns and cougars direction here. Yeah. So it's probably going to be like John Cougar Mellencamp 45 caliber. Right. You know what I mean? I mean, the, the reason escalated is because Verizon tried to be out the day before and the water guy the day before that. Yeah. yeah. We don't know oh, what God. kind of furniture it was. It was yeah. Bob's, it, Bob's Value City has to be. It was Ikea, obviously. Oh. Ikea. If, if it was Ikea, I would If it was Ikea them. delivery, you deserve yeah, to have them pull a gun house. on you. Take it home yourself. It's in a box. <laughs> is this particle board? Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ikea oh, I you can fit an Ikea couch in a Civic. You're like, exactly. I have to put this together? Son of a bitch. Yeah, oh, my God. I, will, <laughs> dude, I, I am an Ikea furniture fucking Gandalf over here. Yeah. I will, Me too. I will make that shit work. I made a futon. It was... It was sick. Uh, thanks, I, thanks, Ikea. Aww. You made my bedroom cool. This yeah. reminds me, I did this almost, uh, not pulling a gun on someone, but uh, to the <laughs> c 
Comcast folks. They came into my door and they were like, you should change to Comcast. And I was like, here's the thing. You're not any good. So probably not. And they were like, no, no, no. We've completely changed. We're way better now. And I was like, you know what? All right, let's do this. I was like, yeah, I will switch providers. Uh, And they said, okay, uh, yeah, here's the window that you have to be here. It's two hours. And I was like, great. If you're late, I'm not doing this. And they, they were like, no, no, we'll totally be there. Dude showed up 15 minutes late. He like rang the doorbell, opened the door, and he was like, hey, I'm here for the installation. I was like, no, you're not. <laughs> and he was like, what? Oh, my gosh. He's like, what, what do you mean? And I said, like, you're late. Like, Bye, Comcast. I, I got right. Verizon. It's good. I'm, Dude, when I'm, I'm late, good. I get, I, when I'm late, I lose money. Like, yeah. you know, uh, yeah. oh, God bless. Same. Same. <laughs> when I lived in downtown wow. Baltimore as a grad shocked. student, I had to do Comcast. And that's Same. why I always laugh when people talked about, you know, the way you legalize drugs is you know you legalize drugs, but you have to get them through Comcast customer service. Uh, <laughs> that would do it. End the drug epidemic. That would do it. Oh that would do it. Why didn't Nancy Reagan instantly. think of that? Huh? Yeah. No. <laughs> Let's go back. It's not in time. very legal. Time machine time. They're just super annoying to get. <laughs> I will say, I lived in Gaithersburg for a short period of time to be closer to my job, and it uh, we had to get Comcast. Yeah. And I was actually really surprised. the The service was really fast. Customer service was not that great, but it was. Really fast, never had any glitches, never, anything mm-hmm. like that. And I was like, okay, fine. Then I switched back to Verizon when I came back to Virginia and was like, oh man, like actually, life this? is good. Yeah, I was like, okay, <laughs> like, okay, that's this is how yeah. it should oh, be. Oh, that's yeah. what an abusive like relationship that, is. That, <laughs> that, it's like that, it's like that two panel right. Drake meme. You yeah, know, oh my he's gosh. like, oh, gross, Comcast, you right. know, and, and then just like, yeah. any, and then anything else, he's just like, fuck yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I think Call you're me right. on my cell phone. We we legalize drugs, <laughs> right? And we just make people go to the DMV. To yeah, get them. I'd say do there it. Um, I, I feel like you can't put a, a Florida, you can't keep a Florida man story out of a publication. All right, right. let's move on. So good. Uh, let's see, what do I have? Hmm, how about doctors now have to warn women not to stick uh, wasp nests in their lady parts? Is this a Florida woman? Fuck? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's totally this is a, a thing. Florida woman. This nope. has meth written all over it. Yeah. No. Okay, this is like a West Virginia no. woman. No, <laughs> totally. This is available on Etsy Look, and I've heard, of some, I've heard of some crazy Wait, shit, but. What do you, what, what's going so on? Yeah. Doing, is this a sexual thing? No, or is this a, a health up. thing? No, the sellers Are explain. Are there bees involved? They, what? The, the uh, sellers explain that these ground up nests, which contain uh, wasp eggs and larvae, may sting when applied, but will, res- quote, restore u- uh, ute- uterine wall after childbirth, heal episiotomy cuts, and also clean out the vagina. Of anything to okay. stick up the vagina, that is now one this of those things. This wasn't written by a no. woman, was it? Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Yeah. That was probably, I, it probably written by was... someone who loves crystals. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and cr- that's two things. Right. <laughs> that means two things. Yeah. Both of them upsetting. Yeah. Do you love crystals? Maybe you'll love this one. No, no both... offense to anyone who digs crystals. They're cool. Yeah. But... And they're both up there. At this point, but I can't <laughs> vote on this as a as no, a who doesn't have a vagina. So. I want to put it in there because there's so many different questions that I have for it. Like I, yeah. I, I just the I just editorial need board. more context. Yeah. I would vote I for it as a man as because well. I don't want to date a woman who has wasps <laughs> in her vagina. Like so, I then think you I'm can ask him, hey, man, what do you think about this to article? Be, to be frank, you you you, you kind of want sex to be an adventure. That's true. <laughs> you know, don't so knock it until you try it. Right, Adam. Adam's with me on this. Right? Don't. But like, do you want there to be a nest? Well, the thing, like, the thing that don't bothers you kink me. Shame. Look, I didn't think I'd like Thai food either. Right. <laughs> I tried the shit. I understand. I'm just saying, like, the problem here is is the wasps, right? Because I like honey. And so I if it's bees, I'm in. <laughs> like, <laughs> wasps? Bees yeah. is no why positive. Right, are these, are these, they bite. They don't yeah. just sting. It's right. not like they don't a die all. when they sting. Yeah. So you get the double whammy. No, yeah. not right. in. I can't do it. All right, okay. is it in? This is weird no. imagery right no, now. No, not in. No. No. Turkmenistan's leader does donuts next to a flaming crater to prove he's not dead. Wait, what? I, it's tr- oh my god, I saw this video. <laughs> it's absolutely it's, it's it's exactly that. <laughs> this dude is fucking ridiculous. What the hell happened? He, Wait. So people so, th- so, so, so <laughs> Turkmenistan is one of those countries kind of like North Korea where it's uh-huh. state it's state run media, there's no freedom of the press, right. so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. And he hasn't been seen on national television for a couple weeks. And some sources said that he was sick. Some, but then a rumor started that he was actually dead. And that was starting to go viral. And everyone thought this guy was dead. Paul so, dead. like, yeah. so just very recently, 
they post a video of him like in a rally car going around this giant flaming crater in the middle of Turkmenistan to prove that he's actually still alive. That's badass. It is. That is really oh badass. That literally is the next. I'm going to use that That's footage sick. as my next music video right? and yeah. no context. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just oh, four yeah. minutes of that shit. Of just you Don't running yeah. around a flaming crater. <laughs> Just going in circles, like singing That's amazing. the song. Yeah. Is this if the I were one president, that, I'd do it. But is, I'm the Queen of England, so you yeah, know what? Sure, I'll do it yeah. anyway. There you go. Is this the one that has like natural <laughs> gas coming out, like, and it just can perpetually on fire? Pretty much, yeah. It's called like the gates of hell or something. Yeah, they yeah. Basically, oh like, it was, they were mining or they were like yeah. drilling yeah. for well, like, natural thing. gas. That's their thing. Like Turkmenistan owns like the world's largest supply of natural gas. Yeah. yeah. And he, then like, it caught fire. Right. And then it, it just, just has been on fire fires. now for yeah. like 40 years. Yes. Mm. And it's, it's like, oh, what's that place in Pennsylvania? Yeah. The place that Silent Hill's based on in Pennsylvania. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Oh, my God. Cold blood. Yeah. No, no, no. It's, it's, uh, this one is a coal fire, not a dumpster fire. Oh, my God. No, I, was in, I was in Philly. The only time involved? I was in Philly, I got a cheesesteak. And I asked the lady, like, where's the bathroom? She knows it's late. And she's like, oh, it's around back on the wall. Like, watch for the back. <laughs> oh I, I kid you not. I turn around and go to the And it is. It's on the wall. And, and there's a guy out there. And he, I swear to you, he's like, if you need newspaper, it's over by the dumpster. And I'm just what like, stay classy, Philadelphia. Yeah, wow. Stay classy. Stay classy. All right. So this oh, one was in. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. Well, all right, bad see. ass. Like I, I. All right, Keith, finish us off. <laughs> Last but not least. Uh oh. Suspects hold man hostage, let him go, and then make him a grilled cheese sandwich. You oh, know why not? That's beautiful. Yeah, that's, I, that's what I I'm feel like. Sure that's what I feel like. Sex is like. Sex is like. Is this a kidnapping or is this just an Arby's? That's like. I just want to hope my life is when I get older. Right. Yeah. So you get it. You do get kidnapped. That sucks. But then you get a grilled cheese sandwich. Yeah, Does it? they're Depends. not trying to hurt right. you. They just want their money. They're they're probably yeah. all laughing and shit. Yeah. They're, she, they they yeah. probably got him or her drunk it's a and good was like, time. "Let's have yeah. some grilled cheese sandwiches. You're free. We got our money. Go." And it was right. poisoned. Exactly. It was poisoned. But it had uh, tomato soup, so that was wait, poison. Wait, that are was you serious? Poison. <laughs> right. That wait, was are poison. you serious? No, no. It was okay, <laughs> okay, good. Okay. You don't poison a grilled cheese. <laughs> I was going to say, then they poison. Like that's just cruel. <laughs> yeah. That's it's a like, hate I feel like it's you're like skipping you're cool, over, but then like you nah, yeah. right? Nah. I feel like you skipped you know? over the tomato soup though. There, yeah, I did say there was tomato soup is poison. Tomato <laughs> soup is poison. <laughs> Why would you do that? So yeah. So is it news? Yeah. That's, yeah, that's I, news. I, I like yeah. that. Yeah, this I is think the story. Good. It's a feel good story. I read yeah. it. Yeah, I right. read it. I want to get kidnapped and get like you know grilled cheese. Well, sounds like it's time. Later, Kat. See me and Kat. We're like the same person. Stick around the episode. We'll set something up. Take notes, man. Next time, (laughs) next time, come alone to the show, and we can make these things happen. Okay. Uh oh. I'll be like, I've made this mountain of (laughs) cheese sandwiches, and. you're gonna as be long here. as it's cheddar, I'm That's in. like the, the, the yeah. third worst date right there. Like, <laughs> girl comes over, sees the guy's house for the first time, and he's like, I can make a grilled cheese. Yeah. And she's just sitting there like, like uh, what's his face from uh, Arrested Development going like, Oh my Will God, Arnett, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Sound, the, 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 right. the sound of silence starts playing, you know? Right. Yeah. Hello, darkness, my right. old friend. Right. And she's like, it's... I've made a huge mistake. Maybe, maybe, it's, yeah. maybe it's third best date, though. That's true. Right. Depends right. on how high yeah. you are. My theory is that you know, if you, or if you're from Florida, <laughs> my theory was that that guy was just actually delivering uh, furniture, and then they had a pile of grilled cheese sandwiches, <laughs> and then he just stayed there for like four days because he was like, and they're like, were you kidnapped? And he's like, sure, whatever. I'm just yeah. these grilled cheese sandwiches. <laughs> oh, I, I, got, I, money. <laughs> I got breakfast, lunch, and dinner yeah. for four <laughs> days. Right. He's like, dude, I got Not arugula, that. I got right. smoke gouda, <laughs> I got some fucking monster over that. here, man. I'm set. Where do I need to be? The only reason I have a job is to make money to afford grilled cheese sandwiches. Right. We're just cutting out the middleman. Right, exactly. All right, let's move on. Dude, what is the name of this publication? Oh, Lonely Bartender at Applebee's. No, uh, 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 uh. With, with the karaoke host. Yeah. <laughs> the karaoke host. Yes. And my dirty Shirley. Yeah, yeah. Dirty Shirley. All right, so go triple give me some attack. water, Jane. Give the triple axe water. attack. So, oh, there it is. Yeah, for the sure. Triple axe attack. Oh, God. Oh, that's the worst name. <laughs> All right, so uh, stop by your local uh, newsstand to check out Triple Axe Attack from a uh, from Applebee's with just a bartender and a karaoke host. <laughs> it's, is that the same and, 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 tri- and a trivia host waiting for people to show up? Yeah. <laughs> 
And the man with the plate of grilled cheeses. Yeah. They're coming. I swear to God, they're coming. Right. I saw the Facebook invite. Right. It's a prize of $20. <laughs> this doesn't sound so much like a publication as much as a novel. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> really sad one at that. We're writing a book right now? Yeah. All right, so let's get to know you guys a little bit more. We've done enough ridiculous news. <laughs> and people are like, there are musicians in the room. Will you talk about fucking music? Music, yeah. And so, honestly, who wants to hear that? Mm -hmm. They yeah, don't want to hear who? our songs when I don't they come anyway. play music. I don't, yeah. yeah. I want to do I, I want to do like uh, Todd Snyder and form an alternative noise band that doesn't play songs. <laughs> we'll just stand on stage for forty five minutes, smash our shit, yeah. right. and I swear to God we'll get signed. <laughs> we, we try we just were, like the ending of every Future of the Left concert. Yeah, ever. Well, it's gonna work, man. It's gonna work. No, we we toyed with the idea of um, doing a John Cage cover at one point. So that's a guy who has the other thing called like uh, four twenty one, I think it is, or something like that, and it's just four minutes and twenty one seconds of silence. And the performance is the people watching, like going, what the fuck is going oh, on? Oh, right? yeah. And so we thought, yeah. what if we did just a rock cover of that? <laughs> right? And we were like, this is a little John Cage tune. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> There's just a Marshall, like, <laughs> hum in the background. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Whoever does that, just huge balls, right? Yeah. Just to be for four minutes and 23 seconds or whatever, you just stare at them. You know, there'd be one musician brave enough at the show who's watching it who'd be like, do they need me to play right now? Do right. They need me to <laughs> Right. They, need me to, the, 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 they just need me to get on stage. Yeah. Right. You know what? Come, the come problem to with doing stage a, on yeah. August 30th yeah. and you'll see Elizabeth the second. Yeah. 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 The, 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 the only problem with doing a rock cover <laughs> of knitting. John Cage's 421 is that the drummer would still find a way to play over it while someone's trying to tune. Right. Oh my God. <laughs> tune his drum to B flat. Right. You know? That would be funny. Someone in the audience is like, it's okay. I, I'll i help you out. And just start speaking up things. And play. Right. I got you. Yeah. Come, come to Union Stage. You'll see some shit like that. Yeah. All right. So uh, Friday, August 30th, Union Stage, Washington, DC, 8 p.m. All of you are playing. So let's go around the room for a, a quick uh, second and find out a little bit about your music. So uh, let's start, JR. Fellow craft. What is a fellow craft? A fellow craft is the second degree in Freemasonry. Uh, they are a indoctrinated stonemason. It's yeah. from an old uh, speculative term used to describe uh, Freemasons. So it is not. I heard there was a rumor that. So it, you're saying it is not short for fellow craft beer. No, it is not. It's it's. it's it, it is uh, short for a fellow Craftinian, <laughs> okay. uh, which is directly related to the Balchinian, which is a like a, a Peter Griffin shaped monster. Oh, that sounds yeah. very attractive. No, I kid. It, it, it is from Freemasonry. <laughs> I'm a Freemason. That's where the name got started. Nice. Okay. And uh, I, it's indicative of, of a tradesman trying to learn their craft. Nice. Okay. Uh, we've changed a lot. I mean, since and since January, Brian retired. We yeah. brought in a new drummer, uh, formerly from a, a blues band, Whiskey Pole. I okay. uh, used to play in an uh, indie band called 100th Nomad, so mm -hmm. we brought him in. And with him, uh, my, one of my best friends, Pablo Anton Diaz uh, from uh, Black Dog Prowl, had joined Fellow Craft as kind of his second band. Yeah. And when he decided it was time for him to leave Black Dog Prowl, I kind of just gave him everything I had. And I was like, hey, man, do you want to just run with this train for a bit? Yeah. Right. And now <laughs> the sound has evolved, and we've gone from being like, a, we used to call ourselves the Grunge Blues Trio. Yeah. But I think it's definitely becoming a more indie band. So you brought us a track called Hold the Line. Right. Um, and this is from your album three. If people right. want to uh, hear this entire track or or go check mm -hmm. out the album, it's up at fellowcraftband.com. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about Hold the Line. What What is that about? Hold what the Line's about solidarity. Bands fight yeah. all the time. And I wrote this song in response to one of our many band arguments. And it's about one member telling another member to step up and take their place in the circle of life. Yeah. You know, and, and you every band is like this where you'll have one member who wants to push too hard and one member who want, who doesn't want to push at all. And everybody's fighting and arguing, so I wrote Hold the Line. And where did you record this? Uh, we did this at Bias Studios with Mark Ritter. Oh, beautiful studio. Yeah. yeah. yeah he is so Virginia. much fun to work with. You know, Beth, because you work with him. I don't yeah. know if you've ever worked with Mark. He's my favorite engineer so far. Heard Mark great Ritter. stuff He's, about it, He's so much fun to work with. Awesome. Well, let's Huge take, Star Wars nerd. Let's take a listen to a sample of this tune. Uh, again, we don't have the full track like we do oh. on a lot of ours, uh, but go up to fellowcraftband.com. You can listen to all their music and see all the other places uh, besides August 30th where, right. where you guys are playing. So uh, this is a tune from Fellow Craft called Hold the Line. Hold the line. 
you definitely hear the blues in there. Yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I right? got that. All right. Yeah, I love the blues, man. I am a, I'm a blues man at heart. I just can't play them well, uh, that well. You well, know, go I'm, check out the entire tune up at their website. Um, uh, uh, Fellowcraftband.com. Uh, the intro is just killer. And this is the tune that won the was, Rammy, right? For Best Rock It did. And we were song. very humbled. Very humbled that it did. Excellent. Well, speaking of being humbled, we have royalty here. We do. Uh-oh. Yes. Uh, let me get on my knees real quick, I see girl. what you did there. <laughs> Elizabeth II also playing <laughs> at 8 p.m. <laughs> at Union Stage, <laughs> Friday, August 30th in Washington, D.C. Um, so tell us a little bit about you. I've, I've heard your name through the scene a bit, mm-hmm. and uh, we've never kind of run into each other. So uh, what do you? What would you say that you do music-wise? Uh, so I am a guitar player at heart yeah um at least whenever i write songs i always start with either the guitar and the bass i write everything for this band this is pretty much like my solo project and i just bring out a bunch of my fellow musician friends who i'm like hey want to play with me for the show and they're like cool we'll do it you got gunslingers <laughs> I got coming in. gunslingers yeah. coming in so i write everything um and it's just a lot of fun. I have been a guitar player for about 11 years i take wow. it very wow. seriously <laughs> Um, and it's, it's been great. Um, lots of rock and roll, lots of screaming, yeah. screaming in my Pretty songs. heavy stuff. I Pretty mean, it, heavy stuff. Yeah. It's, mm-hmm. it's definitely in your face. Um, we have a brand new track from you that, that just came out today. Now we release our, our, uh, podcast like a week later, we get it sounding mm-hmm. all good and everything like that. I'll but, just say. So it'll be a, it'll be a week out by the time this That's comes cool. out. But, um, literally yesterday is when this, yeah. when this hit, right? Yep. And it's called a uh, wedding demon. And it's from an EP called, uh, well, it's an EP called Elizabeth the second self-titled It is self-titled. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you, you'll go by Elizabeth the second. You said Beth is good. Liz, you will not accept. I will not accept Liz. If you call me Liz, you will not have a face face. <laughs> I will cut it off with my own two hands. Right, the knitting needles <laughs> with my knitting needles <laughs> because I'm a 90 year old woman who runs yes. Great Britain. Yes. <laughs> With her corgis. With my corgis in my throne. <laughs> right. And my, <laughs> and my many grandchildren at the age of 22. She's the mother of all nations. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so tell, what is Wedding Demon? What, what is that uh, about? What so Wedding it? Demon, the way that song started is I wrote all the instrumentation first. So okay. it's very, very guitar driven. I just wanted a song that took you on like a musical journey. Sure. And then I wrote the lyrics. I basically wrote the lyrics out of a lot of rage and anger that I was feeling at the same time. But if you really dive into the lyrics, it's about uh, being with someone for a long time. Uh, you guys split and then you realize yeah. the other person is getting married. Oh, and you're like, oh, yeah, damn. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that that's, if you get a bit literal with the lyrics, that's pretty much what it's about. Yeah. No, I can see that. And so um, wh- where did you record this at? I recorded this with uh, Mark Williams at Sucker Punch Studios. Ah, another great, good one. Great, yeah. great producer. Great guy. Amazing producer. And it was a lot of fun. Excellent. So um, we're going to play a little clip of this. Uh, this will be at the end of our show. So if you want to fast forward to the one hour mark and listen to the entire track, feel free to go do that. But um, here's a little taste of Elizabeth II and her track, her brand new track, Wedding Demon from her self-titled EP. fantastic you know what Thank i love you. about this yeah is that i uh i heard about you just through the scene mm-hmm. before i ever listened to the music and then i was like hey, yeah i should probably check out this like this music and i was like nope that's not what i expected at all like, <laughs> like, what did no, you expect i don't know like i didn't i didn't go I'm in very with a, curious i didn't go in with a preconception of like well this person like obviously yeah. plays glockenspiel or something but <laughs> I, I I had seen like the same thing like and uh, I I expected it to be bluesy because like I had heard that Beth played blues so yeah. I went to check out her music online and I kid you not like the same damn day the same god same goddamn day yeah 
I get the music. I'm listening to it. I'm a, I'm on like the second song, and she's fucking sweet picking in the solo. <laughs> and I like sent the shit to Pablo and the whole and the band <laughs> chat. We have a band chat. We're like fellow craft fellows on WhatsApp, and I'm right. like. Listen to this shit. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like, Thank stop you. whatever it is you're doing right now. I did the exact same thing with my group chat and band. I sent it to Elder. I was like, y'all need to listen to this shit oh, right you. now. Y'all better yeah. check this set out. She plays at the same time I do, so I'm not really going to get to see a lot of it. We all yeah. play at 8 p.m. Right. Right. Gotta be one of us. 8 yeah. p.m. or you'll miss the entire concert. Right. The concert. Exactly. Uh, but I love that because Thank what you. I love about music is that... Um, it can be unexpected, right? Um, you can hear an incredibly, you know, uh, gravelly blues voice uh, from, you know, someone who's 21 and you can hear an incredible operatic voice from somebody who's 70, right? Like you yeah. can have a broad range of when somebody walks on a stage, you can think like, well, I feel like this is going to be folk music. And then they can go off and do something completely different. And you can be like, this is amazing. Well, that's the weird yeah. thing with me, because what I get a lot is, at least when you talk to me, I'm very I tend to be a very calm, composed person. Sure. But like live performance wise, I have a very gravelly voice. Yeah. Oh, and yeah it's you very do. intense. Mm -hmm. So it's funny, like going between songs when I'm like talking, because I'll be like doing like all the screaming shit. And then I'll be like, all right, so that was this song. The, yeah. the next song is uh, Lonely. So I hope you guys really like it. Here's, <laughs> right. a, here's a song about how much I ne hate my Next on All friend. Things Considered. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's this weird transition. <laughs> yeah, I think it's fantastic. Thank you. So you said you're a, very much a guitarist. I am a guitar player. What do you play? What's Oh, my God. What is your guitar? What's your go-to? Oh, so my go-to is actually my... So I have two go-to guitars right now. I got yeah. a Fender Strat. Okay. I've had it Standard, my very yeah. first electric guitar. Yeah. Um, and then I recently got this really sick Gibson 330. Oh. It is phenomenal. Awesome. Yeah, it's so great. It's like people say it's like not a shredders guitar, but like any guitar is a shredders guitar if you like it enough. Yeah, if you like it enough. It. If you're not a little bitch about it, <laughs> you can fucking pick. Yeah, they're like, bring your breakables. And I'm exactly. like, fucking everything's breakable. <laughs> Buying a Gibson these days, that's ballsy. Right. Exactly. Bring your breakables. Yeah. I bought my drums. Yeah, right. those I are all the drums. <laughs> those are my favorite two guitars. And then I got my go to pedals for tones. Nice. Tone zones. Excellent. I recently got a pedal called the Archer. It's oh, one that's of the, a sweet pedal. It's such a great it's pedal. It's like in a box. So good, and you'll have that Friday, August thirtieth. Yeah, you can you can see me and my Archer and everyone else at eight p.m. Eight p.m. Yes. We all play at eight p.m. Yes. So go down to the wharf on August thirtieth. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. That's a Friday. Go check them out. And last but not least, just my favorite uh, person who has been on the show before in this room. Oh wow! Oh my god, <laughs> your favorite. <laughs> How many asterisks were on that stage? <laughs> yes. Yes, queen. Shut up, Adam. <laughs> Trying to make friends. Aww. So glad to have you back. I think we had a different Thanks. track when you played, uh, when you came on the first time, right? Mm -hmm. And so we've got a new track called Crypto Kids. So yeah. tell us a little bit about this, other than the fact that it's impossible to actually advertise. <laughs> Um, well, I actually started to write that about uh, one of my very good long-term friends, Robert. Um, Hi, Robert. And uh, yeah, he's, songs about he, you. he moved far away now, but I wrote about him pretty much right before he left. Um, and we used to go to town and uh, have a really good time before town shut down. And it just okay, kind so of, town is a club. Yeah, town the we were club. Like, we're just going to town that, right. and we well, hang out on Main that's Street. That's what it is. It's, you know, let's go to town, yeah. dance through the night. But it, I'm actually referring to the club town in D.C. that shut down in like, what, 2017? Yes. Yeah. Like, yeah. So right next to the 930. Yeah. Um, and it was just one of the songs that as you're writing it, it just came right out. It was a very fun, easy song. Yeah. It, it felt good. The lyrics just kind of came. And honestly, I, it was the first really pop song that I've done. Yeah. And I felt good about it. I was like, fuck it. I usually do rock songs. Well, now let's let's see how this goes. This so we did feel. it. Yeah. yeah. And I, I, honestly, it's been a lot of fun. It's, how like, long it's did fun it, to play. And... How long did it take you to write it? Like, how did it just all like come out Like two hours. Yeah. Like, it straight up took me two hours. And I went in to start recording it. And then 
it you know usually record for like two or three days and maybe i changed like a verse maybe yeah. in that span of time but it was like instant it just happened those are weird aren't they like yeah. when you yeah. write a song like usually you're crafting it and you're yeah. like okay i'm gonna mm-hmm. need something here and right. oh, the chord change maybe i should switch the, and you're like just you're honing it till it's right and right. then every once in a while you're like boom song this is done everything's yeah. done here right. i resonate right. with that so yeah much. Listen, dylan said he did yeah. like rainy day woman like in an afternoon he's yeah it's like, yeah. like an hour he sat down and was like no, 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 no. Yep, song hit. Yeah, Next. that'll do. Yeah, yeah. moving on. <laughs> right. There uh, you go. So again, we have a sample of this uh, Crypto Kids. We don't have the whole track, but if people want to hear the entire track, they can go up to catjanismusic.com. I forgot to say, by the way, uh, Elizabeth II. Did I uh, tell people? Facebook.com, Elizabeth II Music. They check out her tunes there. Um, but uh, catjanismusic.com, check out Crypto Kids. It's its own single. Mm-hmm. Right. And then you kind of just release things at a cadence. Right. I, I feel I like I did. I released three singles. I was like, I yeah. just want to do them one after the other. Is that the plan? Is it just every few months or so? Just another tune and another tune. And I'm another actually tune? I'm actually going to take a break. Um, okay. I have another project that I'm working on. Um, oh. It's a little bit more of like a Sir Sly, Billie Eilish feel. Um, and I have pretty much an entire album that I'm going to be recording in the next couple of months. Well, when it comes then, out, you'll have to come back on and yeah, let us know. And do that. You have yeah. my complete so. undivided attention. <laughs> <laughs> It's some boy. weird shit, man. It's some, honestly like, like my brother and I are doing it, and it's weird shit. But Cat Janice <laughs> will revive again next summer. I just I want to do something. Is weird. your brother like, Nick? No, that's my husband. I thought so. Yeah. I thought he was a husband or a brother because yeah. they yes. shouldn't seem last name. Yes. And I was like, if that's a brother sister duo or a husband wife duo, that's pretty fucking sweet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's not him. It's tough to get my wife to listen to the band. Jr. You know? will <laughs> trade you a grilled cheese sandwich. She for that loves album, the band. Just she for the does, record. But um, so we have a. a a uh, sample of Crypto Kids. So let's take a look at that. Uh, take a listen to that. Crypto Kids by Cat Janice. We have so many good people on here. We're running out of time. We haven't even gotten to like. That's like some OG indie stuff. It's so good. We haven't even gotten to Please God Get One Right, and we've got like three minutes left. Uh oh. (laughs) What what do you want the next guest to to do? Um, I think Beth and I were in agreement. Kat's going to have to fight in. We really think they should do Lord of the Rings trivia. Yeah. All right. I, I think you then should. Here's I, what we're going to do. We're doing Lord of the Rings. We're going to try and blow through these as quick as possible. All right. Okay. So this Let's is a it. please God, just get one right. We're in speed round. We've got like right. two minutes. Let's do All it. All right. So Adam, try and get through this. Let's see if we can do it. One of the main purposes of bird song is for finding a mate with females being able to discern a male's quality through their song repertoire and the quality of their song. I feel like at least half of the group over there can agree with that statement. <laughs> right. What is the second primary purpose of bird songs? Their tail. <laughs> their tail. You sounded so confident. I'm going to say your tail. I'm going to say your tail. I mean, too. when birds are mating, their 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 tail has to match up in the dance with their song. That's actually a thing. Am that's, I wrong? Yeah, that's true. Let's yep. do it. Is it? Is Adam, it? what do you got? Nope. The answer we're looking for is the second main purpose is territory defense. Oh, oh. see, I was all along Find the same line. Find a mate and yeah. fuck shit up. Right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I got one. <laughs> if you were to study bird calls professionally, what would the title on your business card say? Ornithologist. Ornithologist. Yeah, ornithologist. Yeah, 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 yeah. Found it. You got one. Got one. All right. Wow. Wow. You got one right. Let's move on. What a random word. Okay. <laughs> Some species of birds like quails, bushrikes, and scimitar babblers will engage in duet calls. More specifically, these birds will engage in something called antiphonal duetting, which is different from normal duets in what way? It's in octaves? It's in harmony. An- antiphonal is... You don't hear Without it. It's a, a secret. It's right. a secret. It's a secret. It's, 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 it's not in octaves. I think it's in harmonies. I think it's in harmonies. In harmony. Is it yeah. in harmonies? Weirdly enough, it's it's because the calls are so perfectly timed that they sound like one call. Oh, wow. so it's interesting. Yeah, uh, yeah. The opposite That's of like, syncopation. I right. that. Yeah. All right. The Audubon <laughs> Society describes four distinct categories of bird calls. Describe uh, uh, described by their purpose or situation. Name any one. <laughs> what a bird call would be. 
What what different types of bird calls are uh, there? There's the maiden one. The maiden one? The, the mating yeah. one. Mating yeah. one. Then the, if there's the, uh, the, uh, there's the trooper. Fear, oh. calling your chick. <laughs> calling your chick. be thy name. Yeah. Calling your chick. Calling your chick. Number <laughs> of the beast. I mean, there's, or, or there's a frightening call that to scare you where like mockingbirds mock other animals to yeah. like freak them out. Yeah. They don't so know the answer on. is contact, separation, flight, and begging. Those are the four Begging. types. Yeah. You know what? Honestly, Begging, those yeah. are the same. Those are the same four things that local musicians do. That is. Oh. And with that, we've run out of time. You got one right. Congratulations. We did. Even though you didn't get through all of them, next week we'll do Lord of the Rings and see if we can stump our next guest. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming out. This was crazy, but I think we got through it all. Thank you guys. Thank you. Remember, Thank you. Friday, August 30th, Union Stage, Washington, D.C., 8 o'clock. You will hear Fellowcraft, Elizabeth II, Kat Janis, all at the same time. Check out fellowcraftband.com, facebook.com, slash Elizabeth, the second music, and katjanismusic.com. Please like our post, follow us, retweet us, and share the show on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We cannot do this without you. Don't forget to review us on Facebook, Apple Podcasts, and Google Play. If you're an artist, musician, or culture creator in the D.C. area, we want you on our show. Email Email us at booking at another wasted hour.com. Thanks to everyone for their contributions, but most of all, thanks to our guest Elizabeth, the second fellow craft and cat Janice, and you, our fans, for wasting a perfectly good hour with us. This has been another wasted hour, and if you just realized that, don't blame us. We warned you. <laughs>